Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to show a ggplot2 legend at the bottom of a plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears. And if we want to draw these data, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to draw a plot with the ggplot2 package, we can use the code that you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new plot object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can also draw this plot to RStudio by running line 11 of the code. And after running this line of code, you will see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot was created. And this plot is showing a line plot with a legend on the right side of the plot. So this is the default specification of the ggplot2 package. However, you may want to move the legend to the bottom of the plot. And this is what I'm going to show you next. So as you can see in line 13 of the code, here we are using the theme function. And within the theme function, we are specifying the legend position to be equal to bottom. And then we are simply adding this part of the code to our GG plot that we have created already before. And if we run the whole line of code, you will see at the bottom right of our studio that our plot is created again. But this time the legend of the plot is shown at the bottom of the plot. So in this video, you have learned how to move a legend to the bottom of a ggplot2 plot. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. If you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.